So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. That's all right. There's always another story. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? Funny you should say that. I'm considering jumping ship. I realize that blindly chasing a story that would nail OCP made me hurt a lot of people who didn't deserve it. Mainly you. There's this local paper that does what I always said I wanted to do. They help people in the community and give them a voice. Oh, and it probably wasn't clear, but I tried to hide an I'm sorry somewhere in all this. Noted. I'm glad. See you out there, Robo. You will. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. <laughs> you do that for me? <sighs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. So, Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right! No escaping the grave. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, cause the guy from the Holy Cow joint he came by earlier and left a tray of burgers in the staff room as a thank you for our work. Shut your mouth! It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients, but these past couple of days I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin, I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage locker. I get it. I'd probably do the same. This precinct really makes you feel secure. We got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy... Brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. But that did not stop you. You proved competent. Not to pat myself on the back, but I really did. Just, who knew that selflessly helping others is so exhausting? And rewarding. Yeah, you may be onto something there. I checked on the folks that called in to make sure they're safe, and they were. <sighs> but now, I need to catch up on my beauty sleep. I can't believe I'm the only one here. Don't they know there are mattresses back here? They probably mind the vomit stains. 
Beggars can't be choosers. See you around, partner. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos, and most importantly, who is going to stop it. I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. We have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did... A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! wounded, and they're all giving me consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It's... it's something. I...
purple. What do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Robocop! I wanted to leave you a message before I undergo this procedure. It has been a long and laborious process, but it has given me the opportunity to observe you closely. The old old man. That you? I I didn't know. I I, I didn't mean to. Only now do I truly understand what others see in you. I realize why they cheer you on. And it is because they can look past your metal exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that is what I always strive to be, Goodrock Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison, creep. Murphy, what the hell was that? Just an old friend. somewhere.
Everyone's evacuated. There's no one else inside. You need to save yourself. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City, Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. Disgraced Senator Farrell took hostages at the local theater and called for his reinstatement. However, a former vagrant and the theater's newest employee managed to defuse the situation. When asked why he decided to risk his life, Pickles, a European cinema connoisseur, said that it was simply disrespectful to interrupt the screening. Let's just hope Pickles does not influence the theater's movie selection. Next up. Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denies... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. 
the restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I saw on TV that it suffers from some kind of malfunction. What if he mistakes us for criminals or something? Who's going to defend us from him? I thought you were with us, Robo. Human rights for a robot. <laughs> What's next, refrigerators? It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.